All right, hi guys. Um, I'll just go for a little uh, synopsis sort of, of uh, what I've ended up with. We'll start with, well, I'm not going for all the rares at that, obviously. Um, so this is our, uh, our rare foils pulled. Okay, so um, three of them are, are light uh, illusionists, uh, which were Herald of Judgment, Merciful Retribution, and Ode to Wrath. Then we've got a generic defense, which is Rise Up in blue. Uh, all the others, all the uh, uh, light illusionists were yellow, uh, so the uh, Rise Up was blue. And uh, Soul Reaping is the uh, cane specialty in red. Um, I think you'd only get that in red. Um, that's a rare, and uh, it's six, and uh, Soul Reaping. Okay, so uh, our cold foils that are common, which we only got common ones. Uh, I hide legs and um, hooves to the shadow beast. So <laughs> both two leg pieces. There guys. I uh, one just for uh, uh, shadow brute. Okay. Um, so uh, our mythics are two of tor torment. Exude competence. And we got two guardian of the shadow realms. Wow. Um, is that quite a good uh, little card? We also have a soul food, which is a mythic in foil. Uh, now it's a light action. Now soul food is kind of interesting uh, how I understand the rules of the game working. Um, so if you are like, you know, going to attack with a weapon, uh, like it's not an instant. So you're going to have to play soul food. Um, you're going to have, and it's going to eat your whole hand basically. Uh, it all cards in your hand into your hero. So you don't get to keep a hand, card in your hand if you want to. Um, so let's just have a look at um, this is Chappie over here somewhere. Not under the hatch. Bolin, who uh, does stuff with. Uh, oh, that's Charge. If you charge this turn, it's actually going to try and go. And um, his banishing card from his cell uh, well, he can uh, go again. Okay, so okay, so it's not uh, gonna buff you guys up. Uh, it's, good. it's only if you've charged, so you would only go one in that instance. His swords was well, axes, so no, that's not gonna. And the other girl is the illusionist, which is Prim. Uh, Prism, so. No, that's not going to do it. Uh, let's see what her... Nope. Uh, where's her little weapon? Iris of Reality. During your action phase, illusion stories you control uh, four once per turn. Yep, no. Nope. Nope. So it's not going to do that. Um, so I'd have to look more into those cards to work out, you know. You can like, you know, do it first turn. Um, you're, you're, like it's pretty good first turn maybe to like you got a bunch of attacks with measure capital or so turn attack with greater than space gets going again. Oh, okay, so you just banish any sort of card, so it doesn't I mean, it's sort of useful. Um, yeah. Yeah, so the the weapon though has to be like plussed in some way or the attack. For its base. Um, the other thing is, of course, the um, hex gorge, uh, the um, uh, mythic. It's not a cult for all, I guess, um, but it's a, a mythic weapon for uh, shadow brute. Uh, so, would you get that many shadow brute rares um, in just the rare slot? Um, uh, I'm trying to think here. Um, just like the rare slot, like a lot weren't like attacking for six, really. You know, even in that slot, uh, just in our rares, um, kind of like winter. So, so like our foil rares are like nearly all illusionist. Um, our mythics are um, nearly all shadow. Um, uh, yeah, uh, not that many generics in the set. They're kind of like interesting, sort of spread in a way. Um, I'd say still like like randomized, but um, interesting how it like spread in a sort of way. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching this video and uh, have a good day.